ago. So the opening track is about the uh, Arab Spring. And then wow. uh, we, we got too busy. And um, so we, uh, we finally got round to completing most of it, 90% of it, just before the lockdown. And then a few weeks later, our keyboard player, Dave, passed away. With COVID? Yeah, yeah. So you've done, you've done most of it? Up to that yeah, point, did you all sort of together? You felt, you know, as as part of a tribute to Dave and his life and his work, we've we've got to we've got to finish this. Well, of course, that was the only only thought in our minds. Mm. Then, you know, we forgot forgot about touring or anything, just completing it. Yeah, it did take um, took quite a while before either of us could even contemplate. Yeah, uh, well, understandably, I mean, you've been together just, for such a long time. Yeah, you? Just, forty-five it, years. Yeah. It's incredible, isn't it? And uh, I think I had. <laughs> Five rows with Dave in all that time. <laughs> That's not bad. And, and they'd lasted about no longer than about 24 hours. <laughs> wow. we, were, we were fortunate that um, once we uh, well, had the strength, I suppose, because mm. it did, it did, you know, it really did knock us for six. Um, but we were fortunate that we've got the technology now to uh, to finish it off from our various bases around Europe. So as it turned out, we didn't really have to be together that much. Uh, to complete it, you know, um, and it was not the way that we normally do things. It was it was a it was a strange way to work. Um, JJ down in the south of France, me in Yorkshire, and kind of what? sending stuff to each other, and you know, but somehow. I suppose that's the benefit of technology these days, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. But also, when you've been when you've been together, as you say, for forty five years, I mean that uh, you've you've shared so much with each other. You talk about just a couple of rows over those years. That that must take a bit of time for you all to come to terms with him not being around anymore, and then say. Yeah. We're going, to, we're going to finish this and make it as good as we possibly can. Yeah. Well, you're going to be missing this lady, I think, Aww. at some point. We, we, we all will. We, 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 we heard about it. all about it. Is this your, really your last day? No, not today. Not today. <laughs> as Penulti far as I know. I mean, week. you know what. <laughs> OK. <laughs> as far as I know, not. Um, tell us a little bit about Dave, because you, I think, was it you described him as a sort of wacky older uncle? He was like my wacky older uncle, yeah. Um, he was uh, into, he was well. He was just he was that classic English eccentric. Um, uh, no one uh, could play like him. No one thought like him. His thought process, um, and indeed, I mean, I, with me as the guitar player, I would stand right next to him, mm. watching, working stuff out, and thinking, how on earth is he doing he that? Was like he, he was did. very eccentric. But yeah. I think there's a word for it now, and you know. Over the years, we realised uh, that he was special. And I think they call it autistic now. Right. Um, you, and is there one song which is all about about him? Yeah, uh, about Dave. Yeah, because he wasn't on that track, and of course, um, there's no keyboards on that track. Just yeah. specifically, what else to him? What else have you sort of poured into it? Because you said you started writing it nine years ago, yeah. and so what? You know, about the Arab Spring. So what? What other influences are can we see and, and hear through the album? Uh, well, you know, we, we we try to write about the zeitgeist, you know, whatever's happening around us. You know, we've never been very good with love songs. Um, <laughs> why, why is that? It's because because <laughs> love's sure hard. It's, it's overrated. <laughs> yes. It's overrated. It's too hard. Um, so you know, the, the world around us is is the inspiration most of the time. And tell us about your fan base, because you'll have those fans, those loyal fans from all those years ago. Do you get a new audience at this stage? Yeah. 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 Yeah, they're yeah. producing kids. Yeah, which, which, they, which they give the music to. <laughs> they you. do, they do. And you can, each subsequent tour, you yeah. can see, there's, I can think straight away off the top of my head, at least a half a dozen kids who, kids, 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 and all of a sudden they're not kids anymore. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they're talking like this and they've got really deep breath, you know, deep voices. And um, it's, it's, it never ceases to amaze us, actually, the, the cross section, how, you know. How do you stay together as a band for all those years? We love each other. <laughs> so you don't write about love, but you do actually love each other. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, we do. yeah, we do. It's a family. We actually practice it. <laughs> the, I think the, the, the probably the single most important factor was that you know you start out as mates. Yeah. So you you know the dynamics relatively equal, mm. and then one person has the talent for writing the songs. So and they then get then get... they get a bit more attention and they get more money. So there's a, 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 an equality, which. Um, which arises, and I think uh, we eliminated that from day one. Whoever writes a song, it's still shared evenly. So failures are shared evenly, successes are uh, shared. 
What a brilliant thing um, It's a great way of doing it. Well, do. Otherwise, it's the tail wagging the dog, you know. Mm -hmm. it's not, and you want to stay mates, don't you? Well, well done. Thank, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. It's Good lovely pleasure. to see you both. Thank Dark you. Matters will be released on Friday. All the best for the album, and thanks for coming thanks in. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks well. for inviting us. That's great. Oh, well, whatever you like. You can come back tomorrow <laughs> if you want. Uh, you're watching BBC Breakfast. The time is 8.50.